Hi, my name's Marley. I'm 22. I'm currently locked on to a car at the start of the Sydney Harbour Tunnel in protest of the climate destruction that is happening on this continent right now. I'm on Gadigal country. I stand in solidarity with First Nations people all over this continent who have been fighting for the right to protect their country everywhere. There are some really angry people who are screaming and threatening me and banging on doors. The police are on their way and I'm not sure how long that this is going to happen for. Um, I'm <laughs> a bit overwhelmed but I stand I stand for all of us, I stand for all of our life support systems. I stand for this country that has held me, has supported me to grow. I've been privileged enough to grow up on Bundjalung country. It is beautiful country. I love it up there. Um, my heart is in that place. I've watched mass devastation happen up there um, this year with two one in a hundred year they say floods that have happened this is this is climate change it is here it is happening now it is terrifying what is going on in the world and we have to stand i cannot stay silent anymore i cannot be complacent anymore i cannot not do anything and this place this place that invasion began that the colony of Australia, this destructive, violent system landed here, hell-bent on spreading extractive processes all throughout this continent, ripping out of the soil, out of the earth, out of the place that gives us all of our life. They want to take everything, they want to take all that we have and use it to make money for a very small few. They are leaving so many people in the dust. They they don't care, they don't, this isn't for us, none of these things are for us. We, the people who are going to be facing the consequences of the actions of the masses have to stand up. If we do take a stand, we can achieve so much. I am one person, I am locked onto one car, and the entrance to this tunnel is blocked. There are people who are really angry right now and to those people I understand, I know that it's not a good thing to be experiencing and you know what? It's not a good thing to be experiencing climate change, it's not a good thing to be experiencing systemic oppression and violence and all of the horrific aspects that are involved in this nation state. We have to take a stand. There's a really angry person who's coming up to the car who has been threatening me with violence. Here he is. I'm not sure what's about to happen. You fucking everyone stay up, you dumb cat! Get the fuck out of the way! Hey, you fucking selfish cat! You fucking selfish cat! To this man I would say that I stand with you, it is for you, it is for your family that we do this, it is for everyone's, pe everyone's people that they love that we take this stand because it is for all of us that we need our life support systems. This city is the economic capital of this nation, it is where so many of the, the flow of goods and services that keep this country this nation state running happen it is it is not for me that i do this i don't want to have to be here um it is for all of us and some people may not understand that and i i sympathize with that and i do i get it and you fucking selfish i will not be shit. silent hey. I will not sit by anymore. Fucking selfish cut. There's a lot of angry people around. It's quite overwhelming. <sighs> um Yeah, I don't know. Um It's been a pretty full on year. I was in Lismore. I was lucky, but I was in Lismore 
for both of the major floods. I've seen a lot of devastation happen. I've seen people that I love lose everything. I've seen places that I love be destroyed. I've felt pain and anger and grief and sorrow and complete and total heartbreak this year as a direct result of climate change. This country, this beautiful, beautiful land that knows exactly what to do is not being allowed to function normally. It is not able to do all of its wonderful things. We are seeing natural behaviour that is entirely unseen before. <sighs> so I am a bit um, I'm a bit scattered right now, but um, thank you everyone who's watching, who's paying attention, who's coming to take a stand. Thank you to everyone who's on the ground in the city, who's showing up. It is so appreciated, it is so seen, it is so valuable. I know it's scary, I'm scared, and it doesn't make it any less important. There's, an, there's another man here who doesn't think that nothing's going to change, and I agree nothing's going to change unless we do something, and so that's why I'm here, to do something, to not stand by, to not be silenced, to not allow other people to take my voice away, to not allow the destruction of this earth, to not allow extractive industries to take away everything from all of us. <sighs> it makes perfect sense to me to stop a city that is founded on the land that invasion began. Violence is still happening all across this continent. This is a violent system. We are dealing with violent individuals. And I understand that. And it's daunting and it's huge. And it's such an important fight. This is where I am, this is the tunnel, police are on their way, there's some lots of yelling, the really angry person from before is on his way back over. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what's happening. You're a fucking piece of shit! Hey! You fucking dog shit cat! Police are here. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, yeah, thank you everyone who's listened. Um, I've been a bit scattered and a bit overwhelmed, but thank you for listening. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be able to hold this phone and hold this space. We'll see. It's a big day ahead. Officers are here. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for the solidarity. 
I really appreciate it. Guess what's fuck with you again, the jail? They're gonna love you in there, you fucking piece of shit. Sorry, I'm just figuring out. There's a lot of cops here. Um, they're gonna try and figure out a way to remove me. Um, to everyone who's in Sydney or can be in Sydney, come to this first day of action. Come and stand in solidarity. Find your voice. Unfortunately, I couldn't lock the car, so now. Hey mate, how you going, Sergeant fine. Edwards, North Sydney Police? Is my name. You hop out of the car for us, thanks. You need to hop out of the car. And there we go. So there's one bike chain locking onto the steering wheel around the driver's neck. Have you got any identification on you? Keep your hands where I can see them, please. Just answer my question. Have you got any yes. identification? I'm just getting Keep it your for hands you. Where. Yeah, just tell me where it is. In this don't pocket. Don't you get it? Okay. In here. Hold the pocket up. Thank you. And can you put your hands on the dashboard for me and stay like that? Thank you. Is he secure to the vehicle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a bicycle. Apparently